Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Um, Mini DV, common issue, just digitized in a tape that was just found inside of a camcorder and with the rest of the customer's tapes. And um, anyway, there was content on that video, um, but this is what happens with, see this pixelation here, this is very common. And then the audio goes, picture will come back, bars across the screen, all this kind of stuff. This is coming from, um, and then it'll go clear, but then it goes bad. And then eventually the picture completely goes back, uh, drops off. Let's have a look here, you know, and then it just goes, blue screen. Now, this same tape has been playing blue screen for about um, two minutes while I was screwing around with other stuff, but look at this. The audio's come back, but this is the issue. Um, so, what I'm going to do is stop it. Now, this is something that no other transfer company does that I've seen, especially all these cheap online box companies, is you need cleaning tapes um, so the heads get clogged and you need to run a head cleaner through it. That's your first go. And if not, then um, I'm going to hit play on that for about 10 seconds. And if that um, doesn't do the trick, then you've got to clean the head with isopropyl, 99%, you know, uh, really potent uh, alcohol. And um, I need some potent alcohol after I deal with all these tapes. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, and then you clean that. Otherwise it could be worn heads. And the reason why these clog constantly is because they don't have uh, certain chemicals in them from the late 90s, uh, regulations on environmental stuff. Um, and so these tapes do not hold up as long as some of the earlier, older stuff like Digital 8, uh, sorry, not Digital 8, Digital 8 is terrible, Hi8 and Video 8. So I'm gonna hit play here and see if that cleared up. And there we go. So yeah, so that fixed the problem. Now I'm gonna rewind this tape and start over. And this can happen at the beginning of the tape, especially if they haven't been ran, and they've just been in heat, um, you know, that kind of stuff. The initial gunk on the outside of the beginning of the tape can clog it. That's why you see it pretty much immediately. But this is why you have to monitor everything that's going on, not just like companies, but stacks of players and have a switcher to go like one of these that just shows different feeds every now and then they hit it and then it switches the screen, you know, but you need to have this on permanently because as you're looking around the room, if you see this happening, you've got to stop it, clean the head, start the tape over again. It's an ordeal. So um, anyway, this tape right here, I'm going to fire up and away we go and it should be good to go so yeah nice and clean image there's no artifacts all that kind of stuff if we go back to the original and the audio's there as well if i queue up kind of where you know this was going on it's kind of the same image so to speak um, I'm just kind of chilled in the picture here. I don't know if I'm to this. Trying to get it to the same bit. The door. Yeah, it didn't even get to that point, but this is basically this, this is the same tape. So there we go. Yeah, you kind of see it, then it drops out. So this is all going now fine. Also, the audio is boosted. I'm having to yell over you, over this. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be keeping this rolling and uh, keeping an eye on it and having to stop it and put cleaning heads. The, uh, yeah, my God, my brain's fried. It's the end of the day. Anyway, so one last uh, video for the day here. All the best to you if you are. Do you want to get a quote? for me to, to take care of all this crap gotmemories.com i am not cheap for good reason if you want this done right i'm the guy if you look around for the cheapest price um you're gonna end up with all these crappy looking files guaranteed especially through all these online box companies anyway all the best to you cheers